Hello, everybody, and welcome to VESL. My name is Jackson, joined alongside Gator Melon for these banger Valorant matchups coming our way this evening. Super excited to be back and covering some more high school Valorant action, and super excited to be alongside Gator Melon throughout the process. How you doing today, Gator? I'm doing great. I'm excited to watch some uh, some good old high school Valorant, see some, see some kids click some heads. I'm really excited just to see these good games going. I'm really want to see what these teams have to offer last series that we casted together was a nice quick one but i want to see some good fights out here some good entries some good picks and just great calling straight count or the yeah. strat calling all around yeah i'd love to see strat calling be out of perfection as well from these two teams i'm very interested to see if these strats will develop or change or anything coming through speaking of those first two teams we will have stem versus western guilford as the first match on the slate this yep. evening Following that, we will have Kearns Academy versus Northeast Guilford shortly after this first one. So two matches this evening, so a lot of Valorant action to get played out here, potentially up to 48 rounds, if not more, if we see overtime. Uh, but that being said, we can go ahead and actually check out our rosters here now for both teams as well coming through into this one. So we can actually take a quick little peek at those, I believe, if we can get that switched over. Um, but with that being said, I mean, hey, I, I could not be more excited to just cover some more Valorant action this week, uh, this fine Thursday, Wednesday, whatever day it is. I forget. I forget. Um, <laughs> but that being that said, said, anything that you're, you're looking, looking for in specific for this one, Gator Melon? Um, I want to see comps get heavily utilized. Like, I want to see more of the uniqueness of the characters because I'm coming from a CS background. So I'm all about uh, the crosshair placement, clicking your heads, trading, all that good stuff. But I want to understand why some of these characters are super powerful. Last time we watched, we saw the brand new character. I think her name was Clove get on mm -hmm. display through a lot of the, the good players. Um, but I wasn't seeing a whole lot of, like, uh, I don't know, utility combinations to really shut things down. It was just kind of an aim versus aim fight. So I want to see some characters get used a little bit more. But if it's just a slugfest, then I, I'm all down for that. That's my bread and butter with CS. Yeah, I'm super excited to see if we can see that translate over into the STEM and Western Guilford game as well. You see STEM currently sitting at an 0-1 record, where Western Guilford is currently 0-0. So we don't really know how they're playing like. And, you know, we have the 0-1 squad of STEM, but they played a tough team in that first game. So we'll see if they can bounce back coming into this next one. Only time can tell. But that being said, let's jump right into the action. Let's check out our first series of the day, our first game of the day. That is going to be STEM versus Western Guilford. Uh, any, uh, predictions, any predictions, any score, score predictions, score predictions you, got you got here, Gator, Gator Melon? Uh, score predictions, I'm not 100% sure. I'm I'm feeling like a 13-10, 13-9, somewhere around there. Uh, just I just want to see a good fight. I want to see like a longer game. I don't want to see a blowout. I just want to see some good, some good action because I'm trying to learn a little bit here. I'm coming from CS background. I play a little bit of Valorant, but these kids are probably all better than me. So I'm, I'm trying to get educated. Yeah, let's, let's get educated here together. So it's going to be... STEM, E, C, A, and T, and the rosters for both of these two teams, starting off with Western Guildford. It's going to be Nortop, uh, Shan, Waldo, Jody, uh, Fahadi, and then on the other side of things, we got... Oh, the names are way real quick. names. But it's all good. We'll, we'll see in just a second after the loading screen. Uh, we'll get saw, their names for you guys. I saw two Killjoys out there. there. I'm really excited yeah. to see those. These are actually, like, what, season one lineups. There are no fresh characters coming in here besides that Killjoy. Um, but I'm excited to see Killjoy because Killjoy was a bit of my main when I played a little bit. So I'm interested to see how they're playing them now. And Ascent was one of my favorite maps. So this should be, personally, this is going to be a really exciting game for me just to see how those Killjoys play. I'm going to really focus in on that. How about you? Yeah, Killjoys, the utility with Killjoy is just so crazy and so good for the defensive side, making sure you can't get flanked, making sure you know when people are entering onto whatever site it may be. Um, just all in all, KJ, good uh, agent to actually have as a selection coming into this one here now. So that being said, I'm excited to get this one going. On the other side of things, we got Vacant, we got Tally, we got uh, Give Wins, we got Full Fountain, and we got a little gamer. So those are the two lineups coming in for us this evening. Uh, I don't know I don't who's know gonna, who's take, gonna this take this one. I mean, you got, you got I, I believe, who was the 0 1 team? I believe it was STEM who was the 0 yeah, 1 team. STEM. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, we'll so see if they are able to bounce, bounce back and kind of even up their record to one, one and one. one. Um, mm. But I don't know. I'm expecting a close game. We don't really know a whole lot about Western Guildford, so I'm excited to see them for the first time, their first debut on stream, and we can actually get a bit of better of an idea yeah. of how they actually play. Uh, but with that being said, the pistol rounds starting to come through. We don't really have too many buys quite yet, and if we do, it's just a lot of armor and utility. Uh, we don't really see many actual pistols being bought. We don't see any sheriffs, frenzies, anything like that, any shorties. We see a couple of ghosts on the side of Western Guildford, but nothing. Crazy. So it seems like um, is stem stem on top or is that Western Guildford that's uh, defending right now? It's gonna be Western Guildford on Western, the top. Yep, I see it. Okay, so I'm interested to see how they're playing because they're playing a little bit more aggressive. I see them bringing some um, 
some ghosts in, so they're gonna try and get that click, that one click head. They're not gonna have any armor. Um, I'm interested to see how each jet and omen plays because I know those ones are some pretty uh, unique characters. But the differences that we see in the lineup, I think, are interesting. Uh, on Western Guildford, we have more entry base going on, and then on STEM, we've got a little bit more defensive. Especially, you can see that in their classic purchases. So it seems like we're having a little bit of a hiccup in this first round, but I think yeah, just getting it figured it out. Just one player was having some problems with connecting, but we are going to okay. get them a uh, switch on. They're restarting their game, and then we will be able to get them back in for Hadi on the side of Western Guildford. Just a little bit of a quick DC on the jet, but we'll be back in very momentarily, and we'll be able to continue on with this matchup. Um, but yeah, I, I really like the point you said about a lot of, like, um, this is like an earlier season Valorant lineup coming through here for both these two teams, right? You don't see a ton of new agents coming in. You see a Sage, which is something that is, like, kind of a little a little bit more unheard of now, uh, on especially on Ascent, I feel like. Um, but we'll see how that gets played. Sage can be very, very strong on this map as well. We'll see if it's uh, very valuable in the healing and res department as well. It's something I'll be interested to keep an eye out for. Um, also, defending side on this map is definitely where you want to get the bread and butter of your rounds here. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to try to stack up maybe 7-5, 8-4 here. We'll see what happens. We do have Fadi reconnected, and now we'll see if we can get off of this tech pause. Um, but yeah, I'm excited just to get this game going, get underway, and get some uh, round surge here as well. Yeah. Speaking of that Sage, I think one of the most important things that I want to see is like what kind of Sage are we getting, right? Is this a battle Sage? Or is this kind of like a support sage? Because I know with some of these teams, they have that one player that just for some reason stands above everybody else and they just try to support them as much as possible. So I have no idea if that person is going to try and feed them healing or uh, be their res all the time. You know, I don't know what their objective is, but I'd really like to see more of kind of like a battle sage. Somebody who's, um, I forget who is that uh, that content creator that's known for like all the crazy walls, uh, not grim. I forget who it is, but they have these crazy sage walls, and they get insane peaks to get on people, and I would love to see that from the sage, but, you know, that's well, asking a lot, but, you know, I, it'd be dope. We'll find out right here, right now. Pistol round getting underway between these two teams, and... We'll start off on a little bit of a jet POV, but it does look like STEM. They're pushing that A site, and they're looking to get pretty strong with it as well. They've already yeah. moved into the site a little bit. The Omen and the Phoenix are your first lines of defense over on this site. The entry is through. The kill is there from Tally as well. The entry jet is going to be the name of the game here for this one. Opens it up to a 5-on-4 for the side of STEM. Nordhawk, he's that second line of defense. Just lurking in the smoke round, trying to find the jet. Peeks out, swings, not able to land the shots, and that's going to be two for the jet very early on. STEM does get a spike down as well. Well, this is looking strong for them. This is. This really is. Now we're in post-plant situation. You know, we've got our, our Omen sitting underneath. He's getting ready to get a smoke on the bomb. Oh, retake coming in from the top. Bahati gets the first pick. Bahati gets another pick. Gets traded by the raise. Uh, Omen's just waiting. Second. Back in the fight. And there we go. Attackers win. Stem takes it. Yeah, paint shells from the Rays as well. Three for the Rays, two for the Jet, and the STEM EC team locks in. They find those. The, the Jet entries is what made the difference. Like, yes, your Rays still came through, cleaned up the round, picked up three, but you wouldn't have not gotten into that site if it wasn't for the Jet coming through, finding those quick early pistol kills, and being able to translate this into an offensive round win. Now, up one nothing is the side of STEM EC, A and T as well, and uh, they're going to look to carry on with the success they've had. The spy round is uh, looking like it's going to be a few, a few specters, specters, a sheriff, a, sheriff, a, ghost, a ghost here with here uh, armor and utility. And utility. Where you look at the side, side of Western, Western Guildford, Guildford, it's a little bit more just casuals, casuals trying, trying to save, to save, that, save that two thousand dollars or so, so just yep. to make sure they can buy for this, for this next round. round. So I would not, not be surprised, be surprised if STEM, STEM EC does, does take this round, round as well. well but if you are the Western Guildford side, if you can find a round win here, that would be astronomical. Oh yeah, that'd be great. You'd break the eco, bring it right back. This has been an interesting start from this round from STEM. They held three back in spawn for a late push. I think they were expecting some type of rush because they know they're low econ. Um, they sent their omen and jet to kind of just clear out a main and get like a Cover see if they could probably up. get a pick so they could take that side if they were waiting on that. I was assuming a quick rotation, but now we're just working out a B main. We've got the kill drill dead in the back here to stand guard. They've only got pistols, so it's gonna be hard to keep them out from, from the site. Raise boost pats in. He's over there, bombs crossing. Killjoy's got the bomb. Now we're gonna hopefully get a plant here. Uh, Killjoy stacking up for a retake. Oh! Oh, this is good. 
They got two picks. It's a 3v3. And there's a potential oh. another. Waldo will find two. And that's going to put Western Guildford into a 2v2. Mind you, the omen was very low. And now the breach will clean it up. This is still going to be a very tough round for Western Guildford to come through and take here. But they got a Spectre 63 HP, which is more than what both the other two members on STEM EC have. This would be a disastrous round if you are not able to clean it up if you're STEM EC. I don't know why they just didn't flood into a site all five stacks with their Spectres. They would have completely, I feel like, cleared out sight with the uh, weapon or advantage and the numbers advantage. There's one kill. Oh my gosh, don't let them do it to you. The stun is through. No swing off the stun though is crazy. The flash is there as well, just trying to burn time. And I don't think there's any time for the views here on this one anymore, Gator Melon. The kill comes through, but like I mentioned, no time. And that is going to be Western Guildford here. Not picking up a round, but will definitely make an impact on Stem EC's economy. Oh yeah, their economy, they're, they're still going to be able to buy, uh, probably pretty comfortably for the most part. They might have to sacrifice some util. I already see Vacant, he's pulling um, Light Armor and the Sheriff, so interesting plays coming in from here. We'll see how the rest of the team buys. It's like, okay, we can't decide on full or half right now. It looks like they're committing to a half buy, so yeah, that's huge, because now, now Guilford has the advantage. They have the better guns, they have the better armor. I don't know how they're doing on util though, so... Probably expect a good fragging fight, but I completely agree with you on that last round. They death balled their pistol round, and I don't know why they didn't do it again, especially yeah, having the advantage, I, knowing that they're probably super weak. Maybe they were scared of the force fire, wanted to give them a lot of respect. I, I, I don't know. What are your thoughts? If they just duplicated what they did in that previous round, it would have been a lot cleaner, and their economy would have been a lot sharper coming into this round because now you see scouts and and things like oh marshals but it's just like not gonna be what you're really hoping it to be in this round i feel like you'd rather have a vandal in vacant hands especially he's the player that got the 3k in round number one the scout looking for one the paint shells are looking good picks up the guardian looks to transition this one into a kill the wall bang shot will get a bit of chip damage but nothing too crazy now the blind is actually wild if wins will find one stinger pushing up but that is going to be the help from nord top who cleans up the kill and here's a swing and a tree it's going to go in favor of vacant the guardian will find one it's 3v2 in favor of western guildford Demi C, tough gun fight to win. Waldo finds it. He's heating up once again, all up to the breach of Fall Fountain. And that is not going to be an easy task. Yep, and there's the guns. They're standing true. I think that's why they won most of their fights there. Um, Stem really tried to initiate there with the low low util, or not low util, but low guns. Um, that Marshall almost got a good pick, but they lost that guy middle, and so then it was just really hard from that point. Uh, all of Guilford was able to rotate in. They got that first pick on the Omen, and I thought they were going to try and flood the site there, but that Sage swung, and I swore the, song, the Sage was about to get picked too, and I was like, okay, they're just running on the site, but then... Norbert or Nortop showed up, swung help. across heaven, got a couple picks, and they locked it down from there. And here we are. We're back into round number four now. Full buys from both teams. This is the rounds that I was waiting to see here, Gator Melon. This is the rounds where it's going to get scrappy. You got a lot of people on ultimate point. So a lot of people are seven out of eight on their ultimate tickers. So Ooh, here comes that death see. ball. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I like to see. I, I honestly think that it's just like so smart. I mean, maybe send one person mid, which is exactly what they're doing. I, I really, I really like, like this play. We'll see if it does pan out in their favor. Waldo's gonna be the player to get an entry yeah. though. He finds the head. Fahadi finds one as well on the give wins. A little gamer. Oh, the timing is unreal. Nortop finds another. Tally picks up two and turns this into a possible round. Tally will actually find the third, but not able to deal with the fourth as well. And that's gonna tie this game up now 2-2. Yep, I think that's definitely really good rotations coming in from Guildford, uh, coming in and locking down that B entry. Um, that that uh, angle that Waldo was holding all the way deep side, that was crazy. I never thought about doing that and just walking that watch in gets that first initial pick. And then we saw that flank attempt coming and I feel so bad for a little gamer. Um, just sitting there minding, minding their own business, waiting. They're like, okay, nobody's flanking. And as soon as they pull out their knife and turn, that's when um, I believe it was the Phoenix that swung there and took took down the little gamer and so it got real hard at that point they didn't have any way to get out and yeah the retake is just perfect they came in fixed the site um you said that we get need to see more stuff way. on this defensive side so um i'm really excited to see that this defense is locking up they got those two rounds back we're now 2-2 and i can't quite tell what stem's doing i think they're just waiting to take a hit because they've got eco maybe using this as a timeout for a little bit just to discuss what they want to do moving forward what do you I'm think? really uh, yeah, I think it's just kind of taking it slow, maybe talking things over a little bit. I mean, 
it's interesting. They, I feel like they've they've lurked towards this outside A main portion quite a bit. It allowed the Omen to swing out and read the play and find a pretty easy pick off it as well from the side of Western Guildford. So that's a, a little bit of a concern of mine. You'll not check the Omen. And yeah. yeah, there it is. The Omen picks up three. Omen the Omen over Gibbs oh. wins. And that's going to be the Sage picking up their first kill of the matchup as well. Now five versus one. One thing I will mention, Gator Melons, I'm really happy to see these duelists in this game actually, like, dueling. Like, they are, they're actually taking these gunfights, they're entering, they're finding a lot of the kills for their teams here. And the Omens, the Omens are coming through and really showing why they belong as well. I mean, they're smoked players, but at the end of the day, they're, they're fragging out as well. We got the knives pulled on Fahadi. We'll see if it finds out a kill, but, I mean, in a five-on-one, I think you're just trying to save if you're the breach. If you don't save, you're just looking for some sort of a pick. Oh yeah, he's looking to try and do some damage, try to get this eco back in some way. Um, Breach is still there, Breach is pushing, Breach wants some picks, doesn't get any. That's okay, flawless round coming in from Western Guilford. Once they got these guns out, it was a completely different story, you know. They just didn't have the eco to deal with those first two, so now it's really on Stem's chance to see what they can do to bounce back. Uh, we see Tally's going 7 and 5 right now. Um, a little gamer struggling, hasn't put one on the board quite yet, so... And then the rest of the team is sitting not too great, so it's right now it's tallying back at the vacants. So we're gonna need to see the rest of Stem step up. Um, so far the load seems pretty even over there on uh, Guilford side with Fahadi leading with the 7 and 2, but um, we'll see how this goes. We got another death ball stack here. Omens, I believe, setting up some fake utility on B. Um, they're probably just trying to wait for a pick. I'm surprised at the lack of fighting in mid from both teams. I see Phoenix is clearing it right now, just getting a good check, but like, what's going on there? I'm not, I'm yeah, not too up to I... date with why we're not fighting for mid. I think that fighting for mid is something that we should see more of a little bit. Oh, this is why, though, for this round, at least, we got a KJ lockdown coming from a little gamer. You mentioned how you like KJ in here. This is one oh, of the yeah. big parts of it, is getting that lockdown and being able to close things out here. So that's a free entry into the site. All players able to get on. Stem EC, they got a lockdown. Maybe find a kill or two. There it is. That's your top frag from the side of Western Guildford already dead. Make sure you get the spike down. Two players detained as well from that. So great little picks. Opportunity is there. There, the shots were not connecting to begin with, but Bacon will clean it up on the wall, though. 4v3 in favor of Stem EC, and they're hunting for more. Wall bang, bang it. Shoot through the ceiling. <laughs> There's one Shoot from Johnny. It. Bacon, he knows two are up there. He can hear them, just not able to really play off it quite yet. The Omen Smoke is going to be big, blocking off the CT side, and a flank will come through as well. Shots through the smoke won't land. Give wins, pushing the smoke. Good little blind to come through as well, but it won't connect onto the Phoenix. The Phoenix stays alive for now. Phoenix, last player from Western Guildford, as Vacant finds two more kills on the site. The flashbang comes through, despite being flashbanged. North up will go down as Give wins finds the kill, and that's going to be Stem EC tying this one up three to three. Okay, okay, that's actually really good. I know they use the Killjoy ult to get into the site, so that's not going to be repeatable every round. But that just goes to show, once they get set up and get there, they have the gun skill to fight back with Guildherd. So it seems like finding the entries and the proper trades to give them the access that they need to get later on the rounds is what they're really trying to, what they really need to do if they want to see those fights get back and forth. So um, on the side of STEM, I really like where we're at. This is a good timeout. I think from, who, who called this timeout? Was this Guildherd? Yeah, yeah, I believe it was Guilford who called this time out. Um, or, oh, no, it was Defenders. Yeah, it was Guilford who called it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we'll we'll see. I mean, if this time out can change things up here a little bit for them. I mean, Guilford hasn't been playing bad. I think they just want to tighten up their current play. Yeah. 100%. Like, I mean, once they got the guns out, they had a good defensive setup. And from their side, they shouldn't really be worried about losing kind of like another round as long as they get set up the way that they want to. Because the only way that Stem got into that side was that Killjoy ult. We were talking about it and highlighting it, and they used it really well. I think they got caught with a weird rotation because we saw their Jet and their Sage trying to get back as soon as that ult went down and then everybody was just locked out of sight. So tough spot probably stay in your positions a little bit more importantly no more freaky rotations like that i don't know if that's part of their default or what they want to do um but it looks like we can expect another kind of death ball that seems to be what stem's going for at least sending four at minimum or all five uh towards the site and just trying to get onto that site and set up post plants so they'll have to be careful about that retake and see see about just not losing too many bodies Ooh, okay i'm gonna throw this to you but we're finally getting that mid take yeah, I'm excited to see the mid-take finally coming through here right now, Gator Melon. We'll see if it can continue to provide for us now. It's going to be... Here. Okay, they're getting oh. this for free for the most part. We got one on B main. It looks like it's going to be a B split. Smoke off. 
rotate. It's just Killjoy in the back site. Gotta go big here. Using the Razor to get the Killjoy, and there we go. That's the site taken. Jet's pushing through. Gets a good pick. Falls back. This is really good. Now they got to set up for retake on the other side. They've got Spike Phoenix coming through market. They've got Omen trying to go on the flank. Safe on, getting there. Uh, I don't really like this post plant from Stem. They're all down there. They're all just waiting to be shot like fish in a barrel. So I need to see either the jet get up, maybe get some pick somewhere. Don't let them just walk in on you with all their util. Uh, Phoenix pops old. Doesn't quite get anything out of it. We've got two in the back. Two close. Swings. Oh, okay, they get the first pick. They get two picks. Now that's the last two in the back. It's just the breach and the raise. Can they hold it? There's the flash. These smokes are easy keeping these fights from them. One enemy Hold line, remaining. breach swings, and gets uh, immediately picked. Amazing. That was a fantastic retake from Guilford. Good job. I really would have liked to see the post plan be a little bit better from STEM. Yeah, I would have liked to see something along those lines as well here. But only time can tell what we will uh, see here now. But that being said, I'm very happy that we at least were able to start off by seeing a little bit of a mid push here coming through as well, Gator Melon. That was very nice to see um, being able to clear that out. But it, ultimately, it did go in favor of the defensive side, that being Western Guilford. And now, look at this. Fahadi, 11 and 4. Definitely one of the standout players that I've seen. But look at the Duelists in general. You see 11 and 5 on Vacant on the Rays. You see 7 and 7 on Tally on the Jet. You see 11 and 4 on Fahadi on the Jet. I mean, the Duelists are firing on all cylinders here right now. And that's really been the game difference. 100%, 100%. They're getting those entries. And I think uh, even though I asked for utilizing your character, you know, I wanted to see cool ability combos. Um, I'm not going to lie, I think I'm getting that for the most part, but we are utilizing the duelists, so they're just opening those fights, getting in, getting those picks, but these omen smokes are, have been really good from, I think, both ends, and both the killjoys have been playing fairly defensively well, in my opinion. Um, I know little gamers have been, like, struggling, but doing the right thing with the those, uh, those picks, or those entries, they'll probably stand out a little bit more on the defensive side. But here we go, we already lost omen, omen's been spotted in that corner already plenty of times. Another pick up on the A side, standing. taking the side here, okay. Oh wow, Tally just walks up, Deagle straight to the other jet. Oh, jet violence. Oh, accuracy. and there we go, good trade. Waldo. Waldo left a lot uh last alive. I Spike think planted. Uh, safe here, right? Yeah, I, I wouldn't hate to see a save, but I will be completely honest with you, Gator Melon. And there's something completely different about Valorant and CS, where in Valorant they will go for it no matter what. And, like, I just very rarely see saves, I feel like, when casting Valorant. And it's kind of what we're seeing here right now. Waldo wants to go for this. And uh, I, I think a save at the end of the day is the good call. But, hey, I mean, I got respect for it. Let's go for it. And a little gamer, they will find that kill. And that's going to tie us up a 4-4 once again. And honestly, Gator Melon, we also got a little bit about what we wanted as well, which was a close game compared to the 13-0 that we saw last week on our stream for Valorant. This time coming through already at 4-4, already some nail-biting rounds. This is a great series. Yeah, this has been a great back and forth. Um, I'm really liking the, just the commitment of the style. They're just trying to make it work. Uh, they're not hitting the same site over and over and over again from Stem's point of view. And then uh, additionally, from Guilford's point of view, their retakes are really strong uh, when they don't give up those first two picks immediately. We saw that a little bit a couple rounds ago with those first two picks on A, they get on site, and it's just really hard to do anything about that. Oh my god, Omen just walks out and gets two picks. Uh, that's what I'm saying, bro. The Omens are cooking. They're, they're frying. They are looking flawless. Look at a flawless round, four of which from an Omen. I believe Stem EC was on an eco that round, but still, beautifully done. 12 kills for the Jet, 12 kills for the Omen. Currently, for, if you look at the top two frags on Western Guilford, they're combined for 24 and 11. Looking phenomenal. And there's oh. the timeout. And I, I appreciate seeing the timeout from Stem EC because you're like, all right, guys, you know, we, we've dropped two of the last four rounds. Let's see what we can do to bounce back. Yeah. And not even just that, that was a huge play. So that's kind of trying to ice that player Omen right now from feeling himself because that was insane. Just straight up went out there, got three picks. Bahati ended up, I think, picking one. I think that was a 4K from J uh, Jotty, their omen, um, tying it back up with him, trying to trying to tell his jet, like, hey, you're not, I'm, I'm here. Um, they've both got their ultimates ready, so I'll be interested to see how they do this on kind of the, um, how they do this on the defensive end, where they're going to work those, uh, those ultimates. I really want to see... Um, what uh, Omen has planned for the ultimate because I got confused myself the other day and I forgot that Omen can now pick up the bomb whenever he TPs. I know he's not on the attacking side, 
don't come after me. But I just want to see how he's going to use this. Is he going to use this as a flank? Is he going to use it as a, a rotation, you know, when they take the site? Like, I want to see how that's going to get utilized. We all know how Jet's going to use their knives. We're just going to pop them and try to click some heads. Um, I, so I'd like to see some good Jet plays, because usually when I do it, I miss everything. I need an AK in my hands, because there are no knives in CL. Yeah, I'm excited to see what we can have happen here for us right now. Um, but that being said, we should be getting ready to look into this next upcoming round as well. But um, that being said, I mean, w now that we're about halfway through this game, do you think that um, we will be seeing like a close score line near the end of it? Do you think we're going to be seeing something a little bit more substantial leading in one way to the other? Oh, I'm, I'm sensing probably an overtime if they're going to go back and forth like this until somebody can get two rounds ahead. Um, or, and there we go. Immediate pick by this Omen again already on the entry. They're still death following the site, but they're losing that first guy instantly. So good trade, Omen on Omen. Now we've got a post plant set up here. This is where Stem wants to be. This is where they can actually do uh, good gun damage. They've got the plant down. They don't have to worry about it. But this is also where the different strengths have been. Oh, amazing pick coming in from the other Omen. This is really good coming out. We've got two coming from heaven. Pick by the Sage, clearing out that site. Drops, great pick Last by the Omen. Standing. Star plays from Omens all around. Okay, 1v2, let's see if we can keep it. Puts out the flash. Oh, the spray. That is, gets the pick, but has to reload. Another Pistol? Reload. Oh! oh! Fahadi, you can't you can't compete with Fahadi here, Gator Melon. He is uh, cooking today on the jet, and there is going to be a sixth round for Western Guildford, and that also secures them here now a guaranteed scoreline of six six 